with, with with Christy Brown. Christy Brown, as you know, I took the the took the first leap a short time ago, and he's one of the people that's nice at moving, brushing, dry, of just a few months. Christy, Mickey is trying for our spaces tonight, anyway, in the Caledonian pit. Christy is dancing with none other than Jimmy Breen. Martin Dyer is dancing with my beloved wife, and and she is in dancing uh, foreign at the moment. Uh, with, uh, Nori is dancing here, tears it from the root. A great sap won't go on it for the next six months, and the rest Nori is tearing out of the flight. And my partner is uh, Mary Brown from Fanny. She's not a chamber, but they don't want me to know you are just yet, friend. But now, friend, we're just going to record the finest figure of the Caledonian set. to mention that Doris Campbell is here with his arms around the young lady in the corner and then the word of him and he's just looking down at the dancers. Uh, but don't tell Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Campbell about it. He's doing fine and he hit. He's, he's now taken into action. I, I made a few of that tear that's around for you, friend. So at the moment, we'll go ahead with the Caledonian and say. Uh, I know that Donna Cameron has just taken the floor here. I don't mean that he's taken it away with him, but he's just getting on the floor to dance the Caledonian set, which Mrs. Reeves and other ones can't today. Thank you. Thank you. Tommy and Nikki and Paddy and the last of them. But 
Here's the scene of the nurse simply running around with this and gas to get some more, but she's got a way of telling afterwards. But I think she's getting it right. Yeah, she says gas too, but she's actually just the gas that that gas did and burst. So that's the more trouble, you see. Uh, and Mari, and Mari brought it here. She's in the late first year. Very fortunate we have a nurse in most approach, and I think I've got very little glory. Anna Lee is no, Anna Lee is a stranger in the hill, is she? From, she's from New York, and she came over here, and uh, she came over to keep the garden stored. But unfortunately, unfortunately, she wasn't able to get down to the garden stored, so she found a, a little fellow in the hill who had kissed the garden stored, so she kissed him instead, and everything is all right. And the little fellow is no other than the bow little himself, little girl. I think we're really early you now. There's Tom Campbell, unfortunately, can't be here tonight at Larry because they're both, both the day sitting for me. Or um, Larry is at, and Owen are back in Campbell, so Larry is sleeping with one and Tom is sleeping with the other, and they can't be here. Tom Crowley, I think, is basking out in the hill already. He's got a big sunburn in the back of his legs, and he's not able to dance. The team are preparing very hard for the final on Sunday. They hope to win the final. They're, they are giving three to one uh, against Corey Clare, but we are nearly certain to win it. There was a good match in La Hinch on Sunday, and uh, Milltown went down, uh, were, were beaten by Kilmurray Albrechen, and the last year say they have no trouble in dealing with Kilmurray Albrechen, which proves that they have no worries at all about Shannon Gales. However, before this reaches you, you will probably have the result of the final championship which I hope will be fully clear, without doubt. It's fully clear all the way this year. So, Frank, I'm going to hang it off now, with put now now for a while, because I'm sure that the other one said something to you. Uh, Jimmy is here, and she's beaming over that rubber shy from under Dan's elbow. He's back now, and uh, she, he's, he seems to be quite all right. Uh, Martin Dolph's pants is back in position once again. Jason's character is still okay, so we We'll uh, start off with another set and we'll hear more from us soon. Cheerio, Frank and Lena. And by the way, Lena, if you are baking, don't forget to keep a bit of the cake. Um, Mrs. McGrath, no, that's Nora, had a lovely cake here tonight, but it couldn't compare with Lena's baking, especially when you pinch it from behind Lena's back and eat it outside the door, as Frank and myself did one night long ago. So cheerio, Frank, for the time being. Darling, 
left and the silence is coming in. <laughs>
This is Doyle Campbell announcing uh, Martin Merman singing Shut up, Austin and Bush. Now I have to know what you are. The 14th of April is the day of the year. And that in the champion that day did appear. The bar in old Austin with my little John Southerners and my fit at the
the central figure in the prayer, I understand what uh, Master Madman is saying, and particularly his singing of the Bani Devlin Quiet. No As I stroll out, good evening, all in the bloom of spring. I overheard a damsel fair, most grievously did sing. They drool, drool, where my parents barred, and I'll be now deprived. The company of the one I love, my bonny labor and by. His cheeks they are of rosy red, his hair just like the flows. He is a good behavior, no matter where he goes. His will sight is near and mild, quite handsome for to see. And if I had my will, I would be still in my love company. So come fill your glasses to the brim, let holes go merry round. Here's a hell to every man who plows and sows the ground. When his day's work is over, sure his home is still which I. How happy is the girl who gets the bunny labored by. Oh, daughter, dear, oh, daughter, dear, why do you talk so strange? You cannot marry a labouring by the one far to range. For a noble man has granted you the riches you will enjoy. And you cannot throw yourself away upon a labouring by. So come fill your glasses to the brim, let holes go merry round. The people grand within our land of fame and great renown. With gold and store and wealth of our friends so proud and high. Don't forget, my dear, your notions here of a bonny labour and by. Oh, mother dear, oh, mother dear, your talk is all in vain. This noble man you plan for me, love I'll never share. I'd rather live a humble life where time I would enjoy. And I'd win bonny prospect for my bonny labor and buy. So fulfill your glasses to the brim, let holes go merry round. Here's a hell to every man who blows and sows the ground. When his dead work is over, sure his home will see you with joy. A happy is the girl who gets the bonny labor and buy. This is Nora, sorry, Frank and Leah, you can't be here tonight. <laughs> I can't say any more of the black air that's here alongside me, Nora. <laughs> Goodbye, Frank. <laughs>
was linked to kind of the why. No beaming with excessive joy. No fad of your act of being forgiven in the moment. Well, all good things must come to an end. And we will complete the program tonight uh, with the colon, chaired by Eddie Harris.